Hey guys, welcome back to Sly 2 Band of Thieves. Okay, we should only have these two more missions left. Okay, let's go ahead and do this one. Looks like they're using TNT to create these catacombs. Maybe I can borrow some to destroy the fences. You're the demolitions expert. How am I supposed to use that stuff? Oh, it's simple. Just jump in, walk the barrel to your target, jump out, and get clear of the blast radius. But be careful around floor lasers, Sly. The TNT barrels won't work on them. Attention guards! Make sure all laser fences are operational to protect the spice grinder. within visual range of the spice grinder. What's next? Rajan won't come out of hiding while spice is still being manufactured. If we destroy the grinder, he'll be out of business and have no reason to stick around the temple. Great. We do the world a favor and Rajan's forced out into the open. Start by getting a hold of that TNT down there. It's worth mentioning that guards won't be able to detect you if you stay still while in the TNT barrel. Nice. An explosive disguise. Place the explosive near that grinding wheel, and it'll be blown to bits!
Okay, so basically, we've used this TNT barrel to make a pathway to get up there. It's a bit of a repetitive mission, but I believe this is it. I think this is the last TNT barrel we need to use. Get the TNT barrel into that basin filled with spice dust. What's going on down there? It looks like spice production has fallen behind. Wait, it's completely stopped. Okay, so now we're gonna do the rip off Ruby mission.
Okay. So we need to get over to that tree. Okay, this shouldn't be too bad. to acquire that huge ruby of Rajad's for a local crime ring. In exchange for the goods, they'll set us up with a Cherry Bomb 500 for the heist. A Cherry Bomb 500? That's a lot of kick. Trust me, we'll need it. To get that ruby free from its moorings, you might have to whack it a few times with your cane. I'm on it. Muscle on the way. Okay, so now we need to get Murray over there. Pick up the ruby with your stop move. Despite its size, that rock is really fragile. Bentley will run ahead and inflate cushions that are safe to throw the ruby onto. Use them, or this operation's a bust. Now, head out to our rendezvous near the waterfall.
This ruby is near flawless. I'll recommend to my superiors that we purchase it. Take it to our buyer and complete the contract. I must say, the Cooper Gang certainly lives up to its reputation. This is a true Indian treasure. We will honor the bargain and provide a Cherry Bomb 500 at the time the turtle requested. <laughs> Partial flooding didn't work, so it's time to go the distance. Blowing up the temple's elephant mouth should turn this grotto into a swimming pool. I'll cover Murray from the chopper's gun turret while he pries the mouth open. Once that's done, Sly will need to walk the Cherry Bomb 500 into the throat. Then get to high ground as fast as you can. Rajan is sure to show up and be extra angry. Jump him, snag his half of the clockwork heart, and we're out of here. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and do the operation now. Oh, and I believe we need Murray. for the turret, Murray. All right, I'll set up shop here and provide covering fire while you try to pry open the elephant's mouth for slot. Check.
clear out those guards before you take a crack at opening them out. Nice work. Now put those muscles to the test and pry that thing open. <laughs> of hunter-seeker bobs on Murray. He'll never be able to get that mouth open unless I destroy all of them. triumphs again! The mouth is open! You're all clear to bring in the Cherry Bomb 500! Thunderbolts, my spice temple, ruined! I will no longer hide while you villains destroy my hard-won empire! This place is mine! Here I am king! 
Come, face me, Cooper. With Clockwork's Black Heart, I will show you true power. You are nothing. Come face the might of Rajan, Lord of these hills. Boy, when we try to tick someone off, we really do the job. Yes, you do seem to have quite a talent for it. Constable Neela, slumming it with the thieves again? That man is an illegal spice trader. He should be brought to justice. All I'm after is the clockwork part. You help me take him down, and the bust is all yours. Just try to keep up. Okay, we were almost there. Sorry. What are you doing? Oh, fly! I'm coming, buddy! This is it? This is the Cooper gang I've heard so much about and feared these long hours? The Murray will renew your fear. Who's the Murray? All I see is a fat, pathetic weakling. I might be big and not as smart as the other guys, but one thing I'm not is weak. Okay, so I remember this being pretty tough. Weekly. It's okay that we lost that first time because we were already kind of low on health.
Sly's gonna want this half of the clockwork heart safe and sound. Happy day. What? Neela? Throw down a ladder! Sly's hurt real bad! Can you hear me? I said Sly's hurt! There they are, Contessa. Just as I promised. The Cooper Gang and Rajan all incapacitated. Excellent police work, Constable Neela. Carmelita's never been able to catch the Cooper Gang. Yet you capture them in just a few short weeks. Well, I never... Really, Carmelita. Except your defeat gracefully. Actually, Contessa, there's a good reason Inspector Fox never caught the Cooper Gang. She's been in league with them the whole time. Liar! Prove it! This is a photo of Carmelita dancing with Sly Cooper on the night the clockwork wings were stolen. But I didn't know I was dancing with Cooper. You two certainly seem very familiar in this picture. Men, place Inspector Fox under arrest. I'll get you, Neela. Don't think I won't. Such a pity when an officer falls from the light. Yes. Indeed. I can't believe it! That double-crossing, cockney liar! Though statistically improbable, I had to face the facts. Neela had betrayed us, my teammates were captured, and I was all alone. While intellectually inferior, Sly and Murray had always been a rich source of sociological interest. The long walk out of the jungle gave me time to reflect, and with each passing step, my sense of isolation grew. Shockingly, my comrade's absence had a profound emotional effect on me. This was it. This was the true test of friendship. Upon reaching the van, my resolve was hardened. I had to save my friends. But first things first, I had to learn how to drive a stick shell. Okay guys, that'll do it for this video. Next time, we'll be starting episode 4, so thanks for watching, and I hope you'll come back next time.